Warning. The following program is rated TVMA. Viewer discretion is advised. going to try something new again doc mox with his experiments um we're going to be testing some uh spirit boxes now i have the uh scd um the scd one i'm sorry that's not it there's the scd one by uh huff paranormal and uh we're going to be using uh the sb11 spirit box there's a picture of that there and um, also I have running here on this side, uh, the Perilous app. And then over here on this side as well, I got the Perilous app uh, going again. So we got two Perilous. We got um, the SCD1 and the SB11. Okay, the uh, Perilous just came through, said lag. Yeah, I guess I'm lagging. Okay, so um, let's start with uh, the SCD one, uh, by Huff paranormal. And we'll go ahead and start that now. Uh, I'm going to ask for guidance and protection as we try to make contact with the supernatural realm, the supernatural world. So, uh, Oh, I forgot to mention one thing before we get started. In the back, I put the other office chair in the back there, and you can see the uh, the REM pod. I'll try to put my finger on there. The uh, REM pod is sitting on the empty chair. Then next to that, on a little teeny tiny table over here, I'm trying to get my finger on there, we have the EMF going. Okay, so little trip wires. Now, I've already had some, uh, some activity from the uh, REM pod in the back. I had uh, temp temperature fluctuations. Now that's going to be, um, that is understandable, especially since I had to turn down the AC, I had to turn off my fan. I usually keep the uh, AC set to 78 and I put the fan on and that works fine, you know, try to save some energy. But in this case, I figured the fan would be too loud. So let's kill the fan and put the AC down a little bit because uh, I'm already sweating over here. But um, anyways, so we got some troop wires going up. Oh, that was the other thing. The REM pod, it wasn't just... Um, temperature fluctuations i actually got um a uh what do they call that the um okay now that's a temperature fluctuation but i've been getting that periodically but i also had a, a sensor movement detection and um so here we go um can spirits come through and just say hello for starters, hello, hi would be fine. How are you is okay. Hello, spirit world. Can you say hello? This is Sunny Doc Mox Kaminsky, Dr. Kaminsky here. 
Can you say hello? I could have swore somebody said quien es. That, that would be a who is in Spanish. Who is it? The uh, Perilous app just came through and said noise. Noise. Yes, there is a lot of noise here. Understand. The other Perilous app came through and said understand. So you guys understand why we have all the noise. The Perilous app just came through and said noise. And the other Perilous app came through and said understand. So it understands why there's a lot of noise. Can you harness your energies and set off one of our trigger, uh, our trigger detectors, the REM pod or the EMF? Who's here with us? Was that Leslie? Did you say Leslie? That sounded like REM pod hit, temperature fluctuation. I'm feeling strange. I feel like a head rush right now. Um, is Someone is here. Can you please tell us where you're at? Are you in heaven or hell? Incredible. A very strange voice comes through and says, Hi, Sonny. <laughs> Perilous app came through and said, Back. The other Perilous app came through and said, Vicky. Now, I'll tell you something, guys. These Perilous apps, they're random word generators, but they've come through. Like if you watch one of my other spirit box videos, I said, when is the world going to end? It comes through. It says May. And it was, uh, it was April at the time. So that's Vicky. Can you say sunny? Ah, oh, did you hear that? Ah. Oh. Did you hear that? That sounded like Sunny, dude. Can you say Stony? Can you come through and say Stony? If you can say it, say it now. Say Stony now. Whoa! If you can say it, say it now. Say Stony now. Whoa! Man, that was. I'm gonna I'm gonna replay that in a recording. I heard Stony, man. What can you guys tell us? Hello, hello. Can you guys tell us what you see on the other side? Are there angels? Are there demons? Are there trees? Are there clouds? Can anyone in this room set off one of our trigger objects, the EMF or the REM pod? Where do you come from?
Do you hear that again? Temperature fluctuation. Temperature fluctuation on the REM pod. Also, too, when I was sitting here earlier with the EMF that I have sitting over there on the table, uh, I had a, a 1.8 just sitting here. And then I didn't do anything. I was looking at it. And then it went... That's a pretty strong hit, guys. That's like nonstop back there. Whoa. So I was sitting here. It was a 1.8. I didn't move. And then it went down to zero by itself. And I was thinking, well, maybe the uh, all the electrical equipment around here was making a field. I went towards the TV, nothing. I went towards this stuff, nothing. I went back to this position, 0, 0.0. And uh, you guys know, my if you watch our other videos, my EMF meter is solid. Uh Stitch was even banging it on the, uh, well, not banging it, but tapping it on the um, the rear view mirrors to try to debunk the um, another one already. That's pretty quick for temperature fluctuations, guys. Give me a break. I put it on. All right, let's move on. All spirits who can hear my voice, harness your energies, harness your energies and breach the void and come through. Rampod hit. Rampod hit, temperature fluctuation. Spirits from the beyond, come through. Breach the void. Manifest here, if you will. But give us a clear sign. Show us that you're here. Anything is acceptable. Utilize any of the equipment in this room. You can knock something over. You could even do something to me. To get the evidence, I'm okay with it. Harness your energies and come through. Give us something concrete. Perilous apps at Olivia. Come through. Rampod. Rampod uh, temperature flux. It sounded like it was trying to. Um, it sounded like it was uh, about ready to do a. Uh, a sensor movement, you know, a, a proximity uh, uh, sensor. And I got the I got the uh, SCD one from uh, Huff Paranormal and the SB11 Spirit Box ready to go. But anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, here's uh, Stitch. Okay, he's already had a long day of work, but uh, he joined us. And uh, what's up, brother love? What's happening? Oh man, tell me about uh, tell me about your day, man. That was a long day, brother. Is that a lot some of new editing, art? man? <laughs> Is that some new uh, artwork right there? It looks like you got Where? some uh, right here on your arm. It looks like you got some new tats. No, I've had that years. Come on, brother, you've seen that before. Yeah, maybe it's because the camera is it's switching views on me somehow. I don't know. <laughs> So anyways, uh, I've been trying uh, a few experiments here, and uh, I got the uh, – I'm pretty sure you heard everything. You were behind the scenes there for a couple minutes. But, um, I mean, I caught some stuff, but the thing is, a lot of times, we never actually hear what was said until we replay that, you know, and then it's just like, man. How many times have you caught EVPs that we didn't hear right off on the spot? But we heard afterwards, and then we kind of consider those the genuine EVPs, you know? Yeah, a lot yeah. of time it's listening back. So, What's the most incredible Listen. EVP you've ever heard? Mm. I don't know. That one out by Seven Magic Mountain was pretty, pretty eerie. That one Which was pretty eerie. 
What's that? The hate immortal God? Yeah, hate immortal God. Yeah, because that was so that, relevant. That, that was crazy because that said that right after you were taunting Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I hey, I want the evidence. I don't care, dude. I, I'll take attachments. Ghosts can move in. They can knock the house down. But imagine if if that really actually happened. Imagine Stitch. The evidence. You crazy fool. You crazy. Uh, the notoriety alone. The notoriety alone. Imagine the genuine. The, to have a genuine evidence. Genuine evidence of a genuine haunting or demonic entity, whatever it might be. But it's like just absolute proof. And it was Stitch uh, that 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 uh, that was able to uh, get this evidence, and uh, man, just that alone. You know, I'm not really looking for. I mean, I would like fame and fortune. You know, as as well as anybody. You know, what I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm not a glutton. I'm not a glutton. But hey, I, hey, I'd like to be rich and famous, wouldn't you? And then we could go traveling around the world doing this stuff for free, basically. But imagine. To, I mean, that's something that. definitely I would love to do is travel around the world and do awesome locations, man, for sure. And that is awesome. And um, Huff Paranormal, Steve Huff, uh, uh, fantastic guy. Hey, there's Jeremy Daniel. Let's say what's up to uh, Jeremy there. What's up, brother love? Glad you joined us there. We're trying uh, a, a, um, a plethora of uh, experiments here. I got two. Perilous apps running, EMF. Hi, Jeremy. Up. Hey, Stitch is over there. He's got his EMF going, and we're trying to channel right now, basically. You know, uh, um, it is what it is. Right? We're trying. It, it turned your EMF off? No, I just said it shut off. Does that usually happen? Turn it back on and see if it's a full battery. I mean, my battery is full, so who knows? So that's that's a little bit strange right there, okay? I wouldn't jot it down as paranormal, but it's just definitely something strange that we should uh, note, you know. Um, you know what I would do too. You know what we usually do is if there's something odd, something strange, we'll point out if we're out somewhere, we're filming something, and we got something, we point it out right there, and then we'll kind of know where that's at. But what a good thing to do too is have like a, a a notebook, you know, uh, with paper and uh, and a pen, so you could jot down this stuff. You know what I mean? Jot down the times, what happened. You know, uh, all my team, uh, my team members, and I all have like notebooks with uh, basically incident reports for for the paranormal in there that we keep information on, and uh, during an investigation, after and before investigation. But um, anytime that I look, anytime that I do reviews, man, I especially on EVPs, dude, or or spirit box, I always mark right times. Down. Yep. REM pod, uh, temperature flux. I know, man. And then I've seen Stitch come with like, uh, you know, a, a scratch paper with like all kinds of stuff on there, you know, times and what was said. So, yeah, we got to do that, man, you know. All right, let's jump back to uh, the SCD one. If anybody has any questions they'd like to ask, we can type them in there into the comments, and then we can ask those uh, on the SCD one. I got a uh, a word here on the Perilous app. It just said uh, party. <laughs> and we do have like a party of people on right now, right? There was a, a you know quite a few people joined us right now and joined me. So um, let's go back to the SCD one. Anybody has any questions, type them in the comments. We'll say it. Let's see if we get a response. <laughs> Hi, Stitch. Did you hear that, dude? No, I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. We got to review that one. <laughs> Mark that down. What's up? Say that again. The Perilous app just came through and said Beelzebub. Oh, hell no. Oh. Beelzebub. 
Is there something demonic here? The other, the other perilous app came through and said, is. Maybe it's trying to form a sentence. This one came through and said, is. So Beelzebub is. What is Beelzebub? Beelzebub is what? Beelzebub is what? Beelzebub is what? Coming? Did that say coming? Beelzebub is coming? Is Beelzebub coming? Whoa! This this perilous app said Beelzebub. This one said is. The SCD one said coming. The perilous app says October. <laughs> Beelzebub is coming October. Yeah. He's coming to where this we're going to be, too, I guess, huh? I can't make this stuff up, guys. This one came through and said scandal. Wow. Name the town we're going to be in October. Where are we going in October? Scottsdale! Did you hear that, dude? I swear to God. Name the town we're going to be in October. Where are we going in October? Scottsdale! Did you hear that, dude? I swear to God. I heard something that was that was I pretty probably weird. Dude. Your drums. I swear I heard Scottsdale, man. And when we reviewed that video footage, because Stitch just asked, where are we going? I heard Scottsdale. I put the grid up in the back here. I don't know how effective that, that would be, but um, it looks nice, you know. So let's see. Uh, let's. Let me turn over here so we can get to the uh, SB11 now. Can If there's anybody here, can you do something right now and show the people that you're here? Make that EMF go off. Make it explode. Explode that uh, REM pod. Knock something down. I've given you the green light. Don't be afraid. Are you too chicken to come through? Hmm? Are you afraid? Shouldn't be afraid by now. Should know it's good enough by now. Hey, Stitch. Come on. Do something over there as Stitches. Okay? Knock a guitar off the wall. Hmm? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> no, it would be worth it. Imagine you just see it float across the room. Oh. Mark my words on what I just said. Because later in the video, you're going to see something that's going to astonish you. Can you say Mox? Oh, is that your EMF? Yes. It just lit up, dude. 
The spirits come through and set off Stitch's EMF obliging us to our request. I heard that. Have we channeled something? Out of nowhere, dude. I wasn't even doing anything. I just looking down at my phone, bro. And that shit lit up to a... I don't even know, dude. It just yeah. it lit. It was a beat. red line. That's at least a 4.0. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. Do it again. Light that up again. Light mine up. Come on. Put that... Let's go back to the S uh, CD one. A lot of times, too, uh, guys, uh, whoever's watching and watching later, a lot of the evidence that we capture uh, when it comes to EVPs, I feel are true uh, electronic voice phenomenon because we don't hear them until afterwards, which is kind of like pointing towards like, you know, a true EV pre, uh, EVP uh, voice imprint onto our recording you know, which I feel is different, uh, slightly different from manipulating these uh, devices that we uh, utilize. Yeah, me too, but brother love. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to thank you uh, from uh, on behalf of Stitch, myself, and all of our supporters, our viewers. Thank you all. We love you all. And uh, I'd like to close out again with um, the X-Files uh, video that Stitch made. And uh, I'll, I'll see you. <laughs> yeah, no, hey, nothing to laugh about. It's a beautiful piece of art, man. And uh, it's it's really cool. Anyways, I love you, brother. And I'll see you when I see you. All right, man? Yep. All right, brother. You, brother. Peace out, man.